if we have a cube of ice and we wish to transform it into liquid so let's call this solid which in this case is ice and then this is a liquid which in this case is uh, just plain water H2O so what kind of energy is needed to transform this uh, cube of ice to pure water let's say this one is 1 kg and this one is uh, 1 kg okay so basically the heat provided we call it H and this H heat is able to transform 1 kg of substance to 1 kg of water without the change of temperature without the change of temperature later we'll do one experiment to find out uh, why we don't need the change of temperature okay so this heat is uh, ml and this l is defined as specific heat specific latent heat of vaporization latent heat of this is not vaporization, of course. This is a mm, they call it fusion. The same goes with saying the if the water would like to transform to gas vapor. Okay, so in this case, it's water vapor. So the heat required. Maybe I should just put here H one and this H two. So this H2, we can also use uh, ML, okay? This L and this L is different. Sometimes they use without uh, specifying which, which is which, but uh, refer back to your textbook for clarification. So this H2 also uh, involves ML, this L, and we can define it here as, you see, H equals to ML. So this L is called H over M. So from H over M, you can define this as the heat required. Heat required to 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 uh, to change the phase from solid to liquid. To change one kg of object of the phase changing from solid to liquid. Okay, so here required to change one kg of object uh, from solid phase to liquid phase. So this is a uh, they call it specific. Specific means over over mass. Okay, in this case over mass. So let's try out this experiment. This experiment shows that uh, when they use this, some kind of funnel, okay, a lot of ice, and uh, they put up some kind of heater inside. All these are ice. And then the other hand, they also put the same amount of ice without the heater, okay? A and B, and B act as a control to find out what are the effects of the surrounding temperature. This is called surrounding heat. Okay, so this heater is connected to some kind of circuit. So we have a voltmeter here, and then this one they connect to 12 volt, and then they connect to ammeter, connect to some kind of battery okay so this is the heater so the heater let's put a let's put red the heater is here okay and uh, as I turn on the heater what happened was there's going to be uh, a certain amount of water dropping into the beaker okay so then here also a certain amount of water dropping into beaker. So let's say here 
uh, here they have uh, 20 milliliter okay so here maybe 5 milliliter so what happened is how come we are using both of this to perform this experiment because when the heater is performing heat to heat up the ice into the water the surrounding temperature also contribute to the heating of the ice into water so we need to minus off the surrounding heat to find out exactly how much is uh, the specific latent heat okay. in this case uh, if you use the electric circuit you're supposed to encounter PT equals to ML okay I'm interested to find out my L so PT over M but then again I need to find M mass from the density of water you see density of water is rho equals to M over V so if density of water is a uh, 1 gram cm negative 3 and uh, volume is uh, 15 because 20 minus 5 ml is a uh, cm cube cm cube we have no problem in doing that so you realize that my mass is exactly 15 gram so this 15 gram of course I need to change it to change it to kg okay so L equals to PT PT let's say power is a certain value time a certain time and then mass this one should put you know 15 gram which is uh, 0 0.015 kg if you want if the power is given as 50 watt and you heat up for maybe two minutes let's say 120 seconds so you could do some calculation and find out the uh, specific latent heat of fusion for the ice of course the value that we here is not accurate you need to get the textbook or reference book to find out the actual specific latent heat of fusion okay so the key word in this experiment is the surrounding heat also contributes uh, so you better minus off to find out the actual heat needed to uh, heat up the ice into water form.